Hey guys, Professor Brown here. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about choosing a paper topic. In my clinical parasitology class, my students are required to write a couple of scientific review articles. And one of the most difficult parts of this is actually choosing what to write about. And so today I'm going to go through some of the steps that I would go through if I were doing this and hopefully it'll help. These things, while I'm going to be searching for topics related to a parasitology class, these basic techniques that I'm going to share could be used for coming up with a paper topic in any course uh, for which you need to write a paper. So the first thing is I'm often interested in writing things that have to do with the news. So I'm going to open up my internet browser here and I like NPR news. So we're going to go there. And um, I seem to remember something this summer about the kissing bugs and parasites. Um, so we're going to do a little search for that. So let's select kissing bug parasite and see what we get. Uh, look at this kissing bug disease, Latin America's silent killer. Um, and that's just from this past December. This looks pretty neat. So what is it? Look, dogs carry kissing bug disease in Texas and Latin America. Let's click through here and see what this is all about. Okay, it's a pretty gnarly picture. Let's see, kissing bug. All right, this is this is pretty neat. So what is the parasite? Okay, it's Chagas disease. Trypanosoma, right here. There it is, Trypanosoma cruzi. So we got Trypanosoma cruzi and kissing bugs. We could read this story if we wanted to. But I seem to remember this from the news, so that was pretty neat. Um, so step one is often to start in the popular press. If there is a uh, if there's a topic that you've heard about, maybe, or you could just go in and do general searches uh, in the New York Times or Washington Post, uh, you know, whatever your favorite news outlet is, go in and do a search for you can even just do parasites or parasitic disease or things like that and see what's in the news. That's a good place to start. So I think I like this trypanosoma thing and the Chagas disease. So now I'm going to go look for scholarly sources that will have recent news article or recent um, research articles about this thing. So I'm going to go over here to library search in the Charles Sherrod Library. This is my local library at East Tennessee State. And I'm going to go to databases. There are lots of different databases that one could use and you could go for one of these, you know, like an environmental health one. You could go for a biological sciences one. But I already know which one I like. My favorite database is the ISI Citation Index Web of Science. This is a multi-database crawler that also includes citation information. It's pretty great. So we're going to start off uh, just by looking at Trypanosoma cruzi. See what we get. And it looks like we get 1,020 pages of search results at 10 results per page. That's 10,200 results. That's quite a bit. So we might want to narrow that down a little bit. Now, um, my family has a lot of people in there who are into pharmacy. So maybe I'm interested in treatments for this. So we can go back over here. Trypanosoma cruzi treatments. Let's see if there's anything new up and coming. Maybe there's new vaccines. Maybe there's something right there. Uh, Militin induces in vitro death. Phantom. That's pretty neat. Got some vitamin action going on here through a redox imbalance process. We're going to knock out T. cruzi. That's pretty neat. Okay, so this is getting better. But there's still a lot in here. Look at how many pages we get. 167 pages. That's uh, over 1,600 individual results. That's a lot. Now we can go over here and narrow things down. Um, so let's go down here and see for thiazolinones. Let's see anything about the thiazolinones. Let's add that into our. So let's look, re refine within thiazolinone and see what we get. Uh oh, no records. I probably misspelled it. Um, wait, nanofibers? Nanos? Huh. What if we add nano in there? That's not enough. See? So that, nanotechnological approaches against Chagas disease. Um, that came off in 2010. Okay. So let's go back one more. So Trypanosoma cruzi. Um, what about drug delivery? Let's try that. Let's go back. Trypanosoma cruzi drug 
delivery. That might be something cool. Okay, we got three pages. Now that's something that's something uh, that we can work with here. So let's see, we've got marketed drugs. Okay, that's a breast cancer adjuvant therapy. So this is from experimental parasitology. This is fairly new. It's from last year. Um, here's another one on nanomedicines against Chagas disease, which I think sounds pretty cool. Um, so there's definitely enough here. So what I'm going to do now is go through and look at some abstracts. So that one, not really interesting to me. But let's look at this one. Solid assertions. Mm -hmm. See, this looks like something that might be interested. I might want to read this whole article because this is, I think I'm narrowing in on drug delivery and I'm, I'm liking that in trypanosoma, so we're going to click on that. Um, let's go down here. That's a review article, so I'll probably, let's read the abstract here. That looks like something I might be interested in, so I'm going to check here. Okay. An approach to improve pharmacological potency. So we can read the abstract there. This is in the Bilstein Journal of Organic Chemistry. So using polyethylene glycol. Huh, that might be interesting, so we'll see if we can read that. There's some more nanoparticle stuff. Ooh, you know what? It might be, I'm going to deselect these guys. I like the nanomedicine thing. I like this idea. So I'm going to take these three things that have something to do with nanoparticles or nanomedicine, and I'm going to add them to my marked list. So you'll see up here now it says marked list three. So we have three things in our marked list. Now I'm going to do another search. Let's go back to search. And I'm just going to go to trypanosoma in general and try nanoparticle. And let's see what we get. Ooh, there's all kinds of things in here. Here's a nanoparticle test for diagnosis. So not treatment, but diagnosis. So maybe we want to focus in on the use of nanotechnology in diagnosis and treatment. That would be pretty neat. Um, so here's, let's see, we can look at a few more. Here's another one, trypanosoma activity. Here's trypanosoma brucei. It's a different trypanosoma. That one does uh, African sleeping sickness instead of Chagas disease. But here's another using metal nanoparticles. So let's go ahead and mark that. Okay, so you get the idea. We're going to add these things to the marked list. So now we have six things in our marked list. So we would go through and find all the papers that we could find. Now, how do we know we're finding all the papers? Well, perhaps let's go over here and click on this one. Um, so let's let's see if we want to find some more. We can look over here. We can see that this paper has been cited three times. So we look and we find the particles, this, the articles that cited this paper. So here's one for Lyme. Okay, here's another one that we didn't show up in our search but um, that might be interested. So we'll go ahead and mark that one too. So we'll send that to mark list as well. Now another thing we can do, in addition to seeing all the articles that cited that one, and there were only three that have cited that one so far, so we can go back to this and look at its cited references. So there were 39 citations at the end of this paper, and there might be other things in here that would be interesting to us that we would want to include in our review. Because right now all we're doing is getting a bunch of data. So we go through here, and I'm not going to go through in the detail because that's more time than we need in this video. But here's another cool thing about nanoparticles. Maybe that'll be some good background for us. Okay, so we'll add that to Mark's list. So you would keep going until you've pretty much exhausted all the articles that you think would be interesting to you. And now we have this marked list. Great. So here's our marked list, and we have lots of options. Okay, so here's our list with all the papers in it. We can save this, we can choose what goes into it. Um, what I'm going to do is email it to myself. If you use in, so here it's formatted for print, so we can save this as a PDF or we can email it. So you know you could just type in your email at you know whatever your email address is, click send and it would send the email to you. And at this point you now have 
the beginnings of a bibliography and you can go over and open up a Word document and so I think our tentative title for our paper right now is going to be Advances in Nanotechnology for the Diagnosis and Treatment of Trypanosoma Trypanosoma Related Diseases. That sounds pretty neat. Realted. I'm spelling so good. Related. And now we have the beginnings of a topic and we have some library research to do. I hope that's helped a little bit with helping you choose uh, how, or helping you decide how you're going to go about choosing a paper topic. If uh, it helped, that's great. Leave a like, leave a thumbs up, let me know. Leave a comment if I can do anything else. And uh, we will have future videos on how to actually get started with winnowing down all of those things into something that will make a cohesive review article. All right, well, that's it for me today. I hope this has helped. We'll see you next time.